We traveled to Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, where we wanted to get away from the Lebanese cold. As it turns out, a lot of the Russians have the same idea. And surprisingly, many of the Egyptians actually speak Russian. So that's just a fun fact. But as you can see here, this is the Red Sea. Originally, we had planned to make a brief excursion over to Mount Sinai and to see St. Catherine's Monastery. But we ended up going to a tour guide's place and we found that they do, you know, dune buggies and you can have a Bedouin kind of um, desert dinner sort of thing, ride camels uh, on a different day, a submarine, all this stuff. But this one, we did the dune buggy Bedouin dinner, as you'll see in this video. And uh, it turned out to be pretty awesome. Kids loved riding the camels. It was actually really well worth it. Bedouin boys led the camels. We were very fascinated by the fact that one of them spoke, I think, five languages and the other spoke seven. Again, it's very common in this part of Egypt for them to speak Russian. So just kind of blown away. Now, our trip was a short one, about three days long. So we really wanted to make the most of it. And we'd seen Farsha Cafe and several other videos actually and thought it looked really interesting because at night it kind of glows all over the place and there's lanterns lit up and it looked bohemian and if you'll notice all the the items in it are kind of these these found objects and um they focus a lot on teas and it's just kind of a place where you lounge a beach lounge and a tea spot so we were very excited to check it out and i would definitely say that um it lives up to the hype unfortunately this was the day that it started to hail so we had to leave a little early so we didn't get to see it kind of in its full um you know sp splendor at night in the way that you know we've we've kind of seen it but it was um it was still really worth it and i would say that if you are in sharm el-sheikh it's important to go here with you this is um, not something I would recommend doing I think that the actual you know uh, sea was very nice and I imagine the snorkeling would be amazing but it's it's a very touristy activity so you end up kind of on a crowded boat and uh, most of the coral reefs are on one side of the ship so if you happen to sit on the other you'll miss most of the action um, so again, not to be negative, I just, I wouldn't recommend this. I would snorkel instead, maybe scuba dive. Uh, there are tours that will take you to Ras Mohammed and some of the other islands around, um, like the White Island. I would do those instead, but um, overall, you know, still not bad. And, uh, you know, the actual diversity of the, of the marine life was, was still beautiful. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel, The Remote Traveler. We feature a lot on Lebanon, um, a lot on you know Turkey and all over the Middle East, and we'll continue to uh, show things throughout the world. Additionally, we're also gonna begin putting out content to show how we make our living as digital nomads. So thank you for watching.